Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now when TP-Link reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their latest Wi-Fi 7 router, naturally my answer was yes. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the experience on what you can expect to get from a Wi-Fi 7 router. The name of the router is called the Archer BE805. Pretty interesting code, but today's video is going to cover like what really is Wi-Fi 7 all about, what's the kind of experience you can get if let's say you do purchase this kind of router and of course uh, find out if this router is the one for you. So let's begin today's video right away. Now first and foremost like I said what really is Wi-Fi 7? You might see this word maybe you have not seen this word actually because like Wi-Fi 6 is still the main thing that we are seeing today but Wi-Fi 7 is essentially a new standard for the Wi-Fi itself. Now the code itself is called the IEEE 802.11BE but obviously that's too complicated so we're just calling it Wi-Fi 7. Now the second thing that you need to know about Wi-Fi 7 is obviously it's going to bring in even faster speeds. Now the speeds can go all the way up to 46 Gbps and that's actually really crazy and it's also going to support more devices connected at the same time. Now moving on to the third point about Wi-Fi 7, now basically it's going to support wider channels so it goes up to 320MHz and of course you can expect to use different bands such as the 2.4, the 5.0 as well as the 6.0 but all these basically means a fast Faster, reliable connection. Now moving on to the fourth point, another thing that is cool about Wi-Fi 7 is called the multi-link operation. Now what is MLO all about? So just imagine your current router, it does like 2.4 as well as 5.0 and you can choose to stay on either one of those lines. However, with the Wi-Fi 7, it can actually connect to all three different 2.0 5.0 as well as 6.0 and it's actually connecting to all of them at one time to give you the best connection. So it's not like before where you're only connected to one. With Wi-Fi 7, it's going to use all those different bands at the same time to give you the maximum speed at the maximum range. Super, super awesome. Now last but not least, Wi-Fi 7 also comes with that 4K QAM. Now this is again a very technical code but just to make it into layman terms, basically it's a technology that allows a lot of data to be sent over the same signal. Alright, so now that you understand the gist of what Wi-Fi 7 is all about, let's take a quick look at the Archer BE805. Now when I first took a look at the design, I actually like it very much because it's actually very minimalist and it actually looks quite aesthetic. The good thing here is that you do not have all those antennas sticking out of the router itself that sometimes might be quite annoying to look at. However, even though it does not have those antennas sticking out, it actually has 10 antennas hidden all around the body itself and this actually allows you to get even further range with the BE805. Now the second thing that I noticed here is obviously in terms of the Wi-Fi speeds, the device itself can support up to 19 Gbps. That means that if you're going to be streaming 4K or 8K content, everything is going to be very seamless. You know, recently Apple launched the Vision Pro. So again, if you're going to be doing a lot of AR, VR content, you can also leverage on that super fast speeds to actually load your content even faster. Now moving on, we should also talk a bit about the ports that's available on the Archer BE 805. And for this, we're going to flip it to the back. Over here, you can see that we do have a ton of ports. So you have everything that you need. I'm going to put the details on your screen so you can just have a very quick look. Feel free to hit the pause button if you just want to take a look at what those individual ports can do. But yeah, it's actually very, very sufficient. Everything that you need is on the back of the BE805. Now, last but not least, in case you are concerned about security. Now, this is where TP-Link has actually got you covered. So we have two really cool things here. The first one is actually called Home Shield. Now, Home Shield is basically a built-in service. It's a home network protection kit that covers all security areas with its network security. So you have parental controls, you have QoS, and of course, you can also generate comprehensive reports. Ultimately, this will actually give you a safer internet experience considering the amount of spams and scams that we are facing today. Now, other than that, there's also the Tether app that you can actually download from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now, inside the app itself, you can actually set even more parental controls. You can block websites. You can actually get notifications on suspicious activities. You can get your firmware updates. So everything is all in the Tether app that's free to download. All right, so at the end of the day, you might be wondering like what kind of devices are actually supported by the Wi-Fi 7 router from TP-Link? Well, you might actually be surprised because your latest smartphone your even the Galaxy S24 series, the ROG phones, your laptops, your computers, these are all actually already supporting Wi-Fi 7. So you can actually use it right away. Now, who is this really for? Well, I would say that it's definitely for creative professionals. If you're someone who works from home a lot, if you have a lot of AIoT devices at home, you know, your smart TV, your vacuum, your doors, your curtains, your lights, everything. If all those are also connected to your internet, then you might want to consider something like the TP-Link BE805. Anyways, uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of Wi-Fi are you using right now and if you do plan to get a Wi-Fi 7 router in the near future. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.